the dominating topic, of course, is Syria. And yesterday the question was, will Congress approve a military strike uh, and give the president authorization to launch a military strike against Syria in retaliation for its use of chemical weapons? Today, the question seems to be, is there really a deal in the making whereby Syria will admit it has chemical weapons and turn them over to the U.N.? And we can avoid this whole mess altogether right in the middle of it. Congressman Keith Ellison from the 5th District of the State of Minnesota, great friend of the program, joining us on our news line this morning. Hey, Congressman, hey, how's it how going? How you doing, Bill? All right, pretty good. So I know you were at the White House yesterday meeting with Susan Rice. Um, the president came into that meeting, correct? Yep, yep, he sure did. And what, uh, you know, what was his argument at that time? Tell us about that meeting. To, to, what well, did, what was, was he asking you? Well, uh, you know, I was in several meetings at the White House, um, and uh, but, but the president's basic argument is: look, um, a mass atrocity has been committed in a suburb uh, of of Damascus. Uh, the mass atrocity uh, was. Uh, about 1,400 people dead, about nearly 500 kids dead, mm -hmm. and the agent used to kill them was sarin gas, uh, and that the uh, the delivery uh, happened from air. They got satellites to show some from from the uh, government-held areas to the rebel-held areas. So they shot something, and then immediately thereafter, uh, people reported that they were being poisoned by sarin gas. Hospitals. Begin to get people in, about 3,700 people in, in reporting to a hospital uh, and saying that, you know, this had been sudden. Now, you should know that a full day of uh, conventional weapon shelling had been happening in that area uh, all day. And uh, then the, it was followed at that early morning hours by the, by the weapons canisters. What uh, Obama said is that they believed that there was a searing gas attack against this population that the United States is signatory to legislation and to treaties saying that we cannot stand back and tolerate um, governments using uh, a sarin gas weapons uh, against anybody, including civilian populations. Right. And and that we got to do something about it. And, you know, uh, if, if the world won't, we will. Now, the world, including the British Parliament and others, they're, they're not saying that this didn't happen. They're not saying it's not horrible. Mm -hmm. They're not even saying that there's no international treaty. What they're saying is they're not up to it personally, yeah. and they don't want to do it. So, so bottom line is the president said he wants to uh, do some punitive strikes to make sure that one, they degrade uh, Assad's ability to do it again, and two, that uh, that that he, he, they send a signal that no other Assad-like dictator uh, better not try to do it again. Right now, and so that. That's what happened. The president's asking your support for that strike. I want I want to get to the Russian proposal in just a second, but but yeah. so, but the taking things in order, the president's asking your support for that strike. Does he have your support? Yes, I'm supporting the president at this point. Now, look, I am giving myself some per percentage of of space to say that if new information comes in, I'm certainly going to listen to that. And also, uh, you know, I'm hopeful that this Russian offer of, uh, of removing all the chemical weapons from Syria will be something that we can do. But Russia's been jacking around for two and a half years, blocking things at the Security Council, and even Syria itself yep. has uh, been shooting at monitors. Remember, Kofi Annan was there. He had to throw his hands up because he just couldn't get any cooperation. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you know, these people, you know, now that they got religion— Fine, I don't, I don't care. I'm result oriented here. If we can get all these nuclear stockpiles out of Syria and a real plan to do it, um, then I'd be, I'd be for that a hundred times more. I mean, I hate war. I don't want, I hate military action. I, I think it is a necessary evil sometimes, and oftentimes it's not necessary. But in this situation, you know, you know, the world stood back and let. Um, so many people get killed in the coast of all. Of course, the world did eventually step in. Many died before we did. And, and same thing in Rwanda, Darfur, and even in World War II. And I'm just one of those people who believes that if we can do something about it, we should. And that's where I'm at. You know, I know a lot of my friends uh, who, who, you know, they're surprised about my position on this. 
they really shouldn't be because I've never said I was a pacifist, and I've never, and, and I've always believed that we're one world and all have a responsibility to each other. Um, and so, you know, at the end of the day, it's not popular, I can tell you that. My district's not that happy <laughs> with the president's proposal, but, you know, I, I, you know, every two years they get to decide whether they want me to come back or not, and, you know, I'm sure that some people are going to have some, you know, things to say about this, but I'm trying to do the best yeah. I know how to do. Well, and, on, and if people don't want that, then then that's the way it is. Uh, Congressman, on the Russian uh, proposal, so that's what it's uh, become known now as a Russian proposal, even though it originally started, you know, with John Kerry's offhand remark right. in, in London. Yes, right. and it's it's happened so fast. I mean, it's just stunning. Uh, do, um, uh, should how can we trust the uh, you, you sort of spoke to this? How can we trust the Russians or the Syrians? As of 24 hours ago, the Syrians were denying they even had chemical weapons, right? And right, now, and, 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 and now suddenly they have them, and right? And they're going to and give now, them up, right? And they're, and they're willing to give them up. Well, you know, it just goes to show. It goes to show we're talking to people who are not that trustworthy, okay? But you know, if we can have an international group do it, then I could see how. I mean, I uh, support it. I think absolutely. it's worth the risk. You absolutely. Know, I mean, if we can remove all the chemical weapons from the Assad uh, uh, people, and well, from the country, then, you know, yeah, there will be an ugly, grinding uh, a conventional war that will take place, but at least uh, civilians will be a little safer. At least, um, you know, Assad will know that there are lines that he better not cross, uh, and, and, and maybe so, we can get more toward a conventional Maybe we can get toward a settlement. If he, does, if he knows he can't... Yeah cheat and use weapons of mass destruction, maybe you'll agree to do something now. Uh, uh, absolutely. I mean, this could be the best of all worlds. It all could work could out. Be. But So, Congressman, what do you think is going to happen now? Do you, is, do you think that Congress will want will wait to see how this plays out before a vote is taken to authorize a strike? Honestly, I think that waiting is not a good idea because the only reason we're to this point is because Barack Obama said, uh, I'm about to hit you, uh, you know, because mm -hmm. of what you just did. And then they're like, okay, uh, I guess we better figure out how to get serious about this. And now they're coming up with creative solutions to solve the problem. I think that if we act like, oh, yeah, we'll wait around for you to, to figure out what you're going to do, they will take every second of that waiting, right? And you got to know that Assad, you know, there's already 2 million refugees in Turkey, Jordan, Iraq, um, you know, Lebanon, there's already 6 million internally displaced people, 100,000 people are already killed, and, and, and it's escalating. And so to, to, we, we shouldn't wait. We should tell them to hurry up. We should tell them to hurry up, get it done, no games, and mm -hmm. maybe they can avert a strike. And if we do that, I think we will be able to get something done because this is a groundbreaker. I mean, Syria is now for the first time saying – yeah, you know, maybe we could give up these chemical weapons. Uh, and Russia, their sponsor, is saying the same thing. So at this point, yeah, I think that uh, something good can happen, but I think we'd be making a mistake if we decide to shut it down and say, well, we're not going to uh, move forward. Uh, we're going to give Russia a chance. Russia's already had yeah. 10 well, chances. Right. You know, this is it's, it is moving so fast. Boy, I got to tell you, it's a moving target. You got to... Uh, run fast and keep up with it. And you are, Congressman, and uh, your great friend. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Anytime, Bill. You bet. See you. All right, you got it. Congressman Keith Ellison, great guy from the 5th District, Minnesota. This is the Bill Press Show.